Hey guys. <laughs> oh, now hiring new cameraman, Charleston. Hey. Yeah, Hi. just saying. Okay, so the new year has not been good to us so oh, far. Yeah. Actually, no, guys, it's been great. But one or the other or both of us have been sick. So um, some of the shows have gotten off to a slow start. But I promise we're making it up for you. And today, it's today. chilly outside. We want something to warm you up. Yes, man. Inside and out. The outside you'll look at later. We'll find it. Today, we're taking a trip down to Jamaica. Jamaica, man. Jamaican jerk from scratch. Yes. Lots and lots of tasty ingredients. And yes, they're all fresh. With the exception of a couple of spices. All when we come back on In the Kitchen with me, Mikey. And who can forget Roy? Say hi, Roy. Hi, Roy. <laughs> we'll be right back. So, get your blender. Uh, make sure you have a blender that has a pretty consistent speed. Um, the Ninjas are okay, and those really Vitamix. If anybody wants to send me a Vitamix mixer, email me. I'll give you my address. We'll take a black one. Yeah, I don't care what color. <laughs> send it pink, green, yellow, whatever. Ooh, pink would be nice. Chartreuse. <laughs> to our blender, I got way too many scallions. So we're going to skip some of these. Dang, did I really cut that many? Mm. Okay, to this you want one bunch of scallions, just the green parts. And if you notice, I do have about a half a cup of brown sugar in here. That was my brown sugar that's um, harder and going to need to be closer to the blades. We have what should be an onion and a half, just roughly cut up. Two inches of ginger. I don't know how much garlic. I'm thinking six cloves is what he grabbed. Thyme, which is just about a half ounce. And it's on our side. Get it? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Scallions, ginger, garlic, onions, thyme. It's on our side. We are going to add one cup a freshly squeezed lime juice. I suppose you can use the uh, concentrate stuff. I really wouldn't if you can avoid it. Um, just, it's not that tasty. I've got two cinnamon sticks we are going to break up. These are about, about an inch and a half long, Yeah, give or take. I'm terrible with sizes. Fresh nutmeg, if you have it, I'm not buying anymore. I refuse to until I find the one that I bought or the ones that I bought. Nutmeg isn't cheap. Hey, Roy. What? Do you know what the skin of the nutmeg is called? The hull. Oh, you're like so disappointed. Mace, y'all. Mace. There you go. I knew that. No, you didn't. No, I did not. Okay. To the... Um, Two cloves of cinnamon, or two, two sticks of cinnamon. We are adding a half a teaspoon of allspice. We added about a teaspoon of ginger. We're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of paprika. This is a smoked paprika. We are going to add, this is where the fun starts. We're putting in two scotch bonnets. Oh. You may like it hotter. You may not like it not as hot. I have to uh, cook for Roy, so he doesn't like things very spicy. Oh, that's a good soy sauce. This is the really good soy sauce. Mm. About a quarter cup of soy sauce. There's the rest of our brown sugar. You want a total of one cup, pa extremely packed. So, we are going to hit this. I'm getting away. 
Yeah, we just had a malfunction a couple of minutes ago. It was Rory's fault, of course. Um, power on. texture out of it. Lord. We'll show you how to get the chicken ready when we come back. We are back. We ground this for about a minute. Ground it. Pureed it for about a minute. No additional liquid in here other than the lime juice. And the reason I did not season this, if you saw, I put about a, a little bit more than a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. It's very salty. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily need it. A little bit of black pepper. Now, Roy has tasted this. Yes. Two scotch bonnets were perfect for us. Um, I would go three, maybe four. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. We're going to give this one quick burr. And that's about all we could get out of it. Lord, these are so difficult. It's all I needed. Okay, now we're going to show you the chicken real quick. We have all thighs because that's what Roy really likes. Thighs are good. Cut right into it. I would leave the skin on there. Soak in some of the flavors and it will help because we are going to be dropping these on your grill. A quick slash across your bones. Don't do this in your hands. No. In okay. case you cut through. Uh, which is what I almost just did. It scared the heck out of me. And besides, you get a better cut. Now, why are we doing this? Come on, Roy. Huh? 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 So we absorb the marinade. Yes. Yeah, I heard. Star. I heard somebody say that during this process, the chickens are in a lot of pain, and you want to put their medicine on them. Mm, rub that medicine in now. <laughs> this is going to take about an hour to an hour and a half, up to overnight. But keep in mind, the longer you do marinate this, mm. the stronger those flavors are going to get, including the heat. So, completely up to you. We'll do this quickly. I'm only going to pour in about half of the marinade. And massage. Massage. And with massage. And just a little bit of <laughs> Lots of love. Yes. Now, if we can quickly turn around. We are going to go over to our pans. We are just going to drop these in. They can touch. We are going to want to marinate these, like I said, about an hour, um, hour and a half, uh, pretty much as long as you can go. And we are going to be doing these on the grill. You can also do this in an oven or on a grill pan, which I do have also, but it will smoke up my house. Mm. Doesn't that not smell amazing already? Mm. All right, guys. We'll be back in about two hours when it's marinated. We'll get everything else going. If you're thinking about a good side dish, tonight what we are doing is making noise because I'm washing my hands because I need overall chicken. Oh, speaking of washing hands and things, do you know what's really creepy? Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring this up because I saw it. They go into these uh, stores, and, and right now we're uh, dealing with the coronavirus. Not so much up here in West Virginia. As far as I know, nothing's hit. But you go into these stores, and all the toilet paper and all the hand soap is gone. 
Now, are people just now starting to wash their hands? Oh. Make you think. <laughs> but we are going to let this uh, marinate for the next hour and a half to two hours. Might push it to a full two hours. Pop it on the grill. If you're thinking of side items, Roy's favorite is the coconut rice. Um, that's right, coconut rice. And I'm also going to be doing some purple Jamaican yams when we come back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and skipped a step and threw this on the grill. It's been on for 45 minutes. Uh, you will get some charring on there. That's what you want. Char is flavor, maybe? Just don't set your chicken on fire. Which, by the way, I have done before. I set a really good set of ribs on fire once. So, as we are taking these off, we are also going to throw the last few ones on. Just to show you how it is. And these do take... Uh, like I said, this was 45 minutes. The next batch will probably take a little bit longer. Do your cooked first, then your raw. Throw it right on. There you go, get a good sizzle. We'll see you in about 30 minutes for a turn. Our chicken's pulled and ready. We're gonna go inside, wait on our sides. Roy's gonna do a little magic. And we only have one thing left to do. Let's eat. <laughs> we'll be right back. So guys, our first batch of chicken is in. Jerk chicken. Ha! Ah! Yeah, hot? that was hot. You want to take the end? I was keeping it warm. Oh well, no, I won't edit it. You okay. can see my blunders. Yeah. So we have our coconut rice with black beans or beans and coconut with rice. This is to, if you, if, oh my God, I highly suggest you try it. I've made this several times, so I didn't show you today. To recap in here, which is actually some of our leftover marinade, Roy threatened me if I threw it out. Oh, it's good. I'm not on a hot stuff. And that's two scotch bonnets in there. Two scotch bonnets, a half a teaspoon of allspice, a teaspoon of ginger, Six cloves of garlic, two inches of ginger, one quarter cup soy sauce, one quarter cup lime juice, one and a half onions, and a half a cup of scallions. Run it through your food processor. Oh, and a cup of uh, firmly packed brown sugar. This is an amazing marinade. I would imagine this would do really, really smoking good on fish. So, I think that's about everything. We do have us a couple of sweet potatoes in the microwave. Nothing too, too special there. No. But, while we are waiting while for waiting. Roy or me to get this. Well, you always make our plates look pretty. Oh, and we got some new plates today. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we, we went thrifting, thrifting today. today. Vintage, vintage. Vintage drifting. Oh, you'll see, you'll see. Well, while he's getting that ready, how about you guys just drop right on down. You know what to do. Hit the like. Yep. And subscribe if no. you haven't already. Please do. And if you like what we're doing, ding. Hit the little bell up here. You can ring that bell. Ring, ring that his bell. bell. Her bell. Anybody's bell. Their bell. Just as long as you ring a bell. Ring a bell. Well, guys, like I said, all we've got left is to make this beautiful and, and to sit down and eat. Eat. Have a wonderful spring coming up. For those of you that have observed the uh, time, this is the last year West Virginia is observing it. From now on, it'll be just daylight saving time for us. You guys have a great week. Look at that, Richard. Put eyeball on my chicken. I'm gonna eat that sucker.